All right, guys. So today is a little bit off subject. Like my back is hurting today and I'm like, I'm struggling to be able to sit down for a long time or stand up. My desk can go either or stand or sit. So both is, the best position is laying. I'm, I'm just going to be real with you guys, especially as a content creator, Blender Octane, Blender, you know, mobile filmmaking. And just in general, this is like me ranting for a moment here just to give you guys the the behind the scenes of what it's like to do this like i'm building a community uh through the school platform of 3d artists trying to so-called build an online business off my passion what i like doing and um i just want to share like i want to share you guys the, the raw the story of what's what it's like because that's what i did with my last channel i didn't i just made a i made a youtube channel got all the way up to 140k members and at one point was making like, you know, three, four hundred dollars a month off of ad spent. And I I wish somebody would have shared that journey with me, you know. So the the way I the the, the best way that I want to give back is by sharing the journey that I'm on with this new channel. Like we're at seven thousand, I think, uh seven thousand subscribers, which I don't even really care. But the thing with me is I'm struggling right now, trying to stay motivated. I spent the last month trying to I wanted to build a team. Like, you know, like have an editor and have a content creator person. And that I looked at the pricing and that's like, I have no budget for that. Like we're talking thousands of dollars a month for some of these, you know, bigger creators who have these social media teams. Like they spend thousands of dollars a month to have these people do, you know, help them out. And for me, like, honestly, I'm not making nothing like that. I'm, you know, I, I'm a full-time English teacher. I do this on the, on the, on the side. Like I work here in Japan. And this is my my weekend hustle, my side hustle. Like I like instead of sitting around playing video games and just watching Netflix, I like doing this, playing in Blender, teaching other people how to use Octane and, you know, sharing out my journey of making content. That's what I enjoy doing. I, I actually enjoy making videos and, and this whole process and dig trying to figure out why this doesn't work in, in Blender or Octane. I enjoy that process. It's like to the point where I'm trying to to grow my business so I could do this, you know, who knows in the future full time because I'm getting older. I don't want to teach English forever, but I would like to play three, play in 3D land and play in Blender land till the day I die. That would be great. And if I can also make an income on that, that'll be even like the frosting on the cake. We're at a time right now at a traditional, at, at a transition point where AI is making its mark. There's, there's a lot of people who are on the fence. Some support it, some don't. Honestly, I've been... Like I said, last month, I spun a whole month just on making custom, making my own custom tools, learning how to to make AI agents and learn how to to do systems to help me, you know, put out more content and get me back into playing in Blender mode and Blender more. Because as a content creator, you will spend majority of your time making content, right? So like. When I go hardcore, like I'm making videos more than I'm actually playing in Blender Octane, which sucks because I like playing in Blender Octane. I like making renders. But if I want to put out content, I need to work on that. So I made some AI tools to help me free up my time so I can get back to playing in Blender. And now that I've been posting some of those results for the last month, for example, one of the major tools I've, I've developed for myself is I can literally say a voice, I can record, you know, me talking, hey, this is what I learned in Octane this month, blah, 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 blah. And it will transcribe that and then take that transcript and literally I can make Instagram polls. I can do a AI generated video of myself with the AI clone. I can do an AI voiceover with my own AI voice clone. I can make uh, Instagram posts. I can do tweets. I can break it all down off of that one input. And that's saving me massive amounts of time. And then what it's also doing is helping me to use platforms that I never would even think about doing or using example like LinkedIn. Like I don't write, I can't, I hate writing. I'm, I'm not good at spelling. But now with me being able to say what I wanna say freely and then having AI transcribe that into a format that works on LinkedIn or works as a tweet, that frees me up. But now I'm getting, I'm getting some backlash because of all these AI haters who were like, oh my, why do you use AI for this? Why didn't, and it's like, I try, normally the comments don't bug me, but recently now I've been getting frustrated and fired up and like getting off track. I'm getting unfocused because I'm focused, trying to defend why I chose to use AI. 
And now I'm like, I'm trying to get back to, you know what? It doesn't matter. There's always going to be haters, no matter what you do, no matter what kind of content you put out. There's always going to be somebody who doesn't like what you do. And I just need to re, re to re to basically retell myself that I just need to ignore them all and stay focused on my main mission. And that's why I'm making this video just so I can talk so I can get it off my mind. Like you guys are my therapist <laughs> and like, I'm just giving you the raw behind the scenes of what it's taking to be a content creator in 2025. And I've been doing it since 2013 because I've had like, like another YouTube channel I built up to 140K, like I said. So it's not like I'm just starting. But also I will say it's amazing just from when I started in 2013 to the tools we can have at our at our fingertips right now are it's amazing. And it's not it's not going to stop. It's going to improve. Like even with the AI and the whole people who hate AI slop and all that, I, I feel you, but there's companies in the world, the top companies in the world are spending hundreds of millions of dollars daily to advance AI. So like no matter how much you cry, it's not going to stop anything. And like you venting on creators who are using this and you don't even know the backstory, like why we're doing this, but you just see us using AI. It's like, and then just immediately passing judgment on us. That's uh, I'm just going to like the great words of Alex Hermosi, ignore them all and just stay focused. So I just wanted to vent a little bit and I needed to get, I needed just to say this so I can get it off my subconscious and get it off my mind. And then so I can get back to putting out some work and get to work. Actually, today I'm taking the day off like because uh, my back is jacked. I can't sit or stand, so I'm just going to lay down so I, till I have to go to work. But I wanted to just put this out there, guys. So, you know, for most of you guys in the YouTube world, this video would have been only exclusive to my community, my Blender Octane community, which is like my little off. It's like my it's my family. It's my off platform family. And that's why I built the community, because I don't want to be at the mercy of YouTube. I don't want to be at the mercy of Instagram. My community is off platform. There's no algorithms in our feed. It's just our feed. And like, I like that freedom. And that's why I chose to go that route instead of just doing the whole like discord type thing. And like, I pay, I pay to, to, to run that community, right? I pay a hundred dollars a month to run that community. And some people, why am I charging? Because I'm paying for this community. I'm paying for my, to have this off platform. I'm having, I'm, I'm paying to have this as my own family where we can, you know, be a community and not have to worry about being at the mercy of a, of a YouTube deciding to do something different with the algorithm. And now the content doesn't even show up in their feeds or Instagram. Like most of my followers don't even know half the time when I'm posting because it just doesn't show up on their feed. In our community, it posts, everybody sees it. Everybody sees their feed. Everybody, we all have the same feed. And it's just like, oh, this was the most recent post. I like that. So that's why I do that. And I'm gonna work my butt off to keep that community going. Yeah, it's eight minutes me of rambling, but I just wanted to get that off. So I feel already a thousand times better. And we'll probably be back to our regular schedule program. Actually, I do actually got a whole bunch of videos I still need to post out for you guys. So I'll probably drop something else today because I got a lot of, you know, private videos in the community. Like I said, now I've been sharing a lot more of that stuff to you guys. I've been bringing those videos from behind the paywall because if you join the community, it's all about community. You're not paying to just get these videos and these assets like everybody does on Patreon. No, you're, you're paying to be in a community of members of people who care about Blender Octane and that's what they like, right? So that's what you're paying for. Enough of this talk. Those of you who watch this, the few of you who watch this video, thank you. I appreciate your support. Just keep grinding. Ignore the noise. Don't let the haters, you know, detract you from your mission. Stay focused. Life is all about up and downs. It's just like a movie. There's the the, the rise and then the fall. The rise and the fall. It's 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 just like a movie. It's it's a game. All right, guys. Peace. Thanks for listening, guys. I feel a lot better. Arigatou gozaimasu. Peace.